A cute and scary gingerbread man cake. We're making a two-faced cake today, and I think both sides are adorable. I think the side that's meant to be scary is just as adorable as the side that's meant to be adorable, which is why I love this. Hi everyone, my name is Renee Zellweger. Let's get started. Now before we get into it, I just want to give a shout out to Baker's Bodega in Pico Rivera. I buy a lot of my cake supplies there and they gave me a red fund to create this cake, so thank you. Now for this cake, I'm using my PVC pipe system. If you want to learn how to create this, there's links for you in the description box. It's pretty simple. Most of the stuff just comes from Home Depot. Now to create the body of my gingerbread man, I'm using two 3 inch half dome cakes. And I'm adding a support system for the bottom of his head and then I'm adding two inch half dome cakes to create the top of his head. There's not a lot of cake because I wanted his head to look gigantic. His body's gonna look itty bitty and his head's gonna look super big so that makes it look even more cute. Now we got buttercream in between each layer and then I've got a crumb coat of buttercream as well. I place this into the fridge to set up for like 30 minutes and then I start to carve it a little bit. I decided to flatten out his belly area on both sides and start to flatten out his head as well. Gingerbread men are cookies so the entire thing's supposed to be flat. I wanted there to be a little bit more cake than just like that much. So I'm just flattening out both sides to make it look more flat. Now for the scary side, notice that I am creating a little bit of a ledge. So I made just like this ledge so that there's like a little sort of shelf for all of his teeth. <laughs> After that, I just re-crumb coated my cake. It's so much easier to work with when you let it set in the fridge. And it's so much more stable when you start to add your fondant. In the community tab, I posted a picture of my gingerbread man and I asked you to name him. And the name that I'm going with comes from Pinky the Cat. We're calling him Cookie Pie. <laughs> We're calling him Cookie Pie because I like saying it. Cookie Pie. <laughs> oh, that's a great name, I love it. Ooh, Cookie Pie, you're gonna be a lady killer. I can, I can see it. Now I'm wrapping my entire cake with a very gingerbread manny brown fondant. Uh, I, the reason I like this, it's chocolate, but it's very saturated brown. With the Baby Yoda cake I created, it's a very dull brown. This has a lot of orange in it, and I just love how bright it is. Now, I knew that I was going to have some seams because I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to put bonding on a cake without seams apparently. So I just made sure that all of the seams were on the scary side of the cake. Q and kawaii side is just like one piece of fondant and so you got to make sure that it's smooth everywhere but on the back I'm going to be doing a lot of like texture work to create wrinkles and like indentations for his eyes so I made sure that all of those seams could be hidden behind the texture. After that I started to add fondant limbs to create the legs and arms of my gingerbread man. I was gonna do like the bottom of his legs with cake as well, but there isn't enough content for cake. So to make it easier on myself, I just use huge chunks of fondant for his arms as well. Now the first side I'm gonna create is the cute side. Very simple, we got a really nice red bow. Oh, thank you Baker's Bodega. Now I asked you what Cookie Pie's favorite hobby was. Um, and I'm going with Night Fury. He enjoys stealing candy off of his neighbor's gingerbread houses. So the way that I interpreted it, they, 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 Cookie Pie's best friend's home burned down and now he's homeless. Cookie Pie realized that he could steal candy and all the, also building material from other people's houses and very slowly built his friend another house. <sighs> He's got a heart of gold, sort of, but also he's a thief. <laughs> or but how about like the people he was stealing from were the rich and so he's sort of like a, a gingerbread Robin Hood. It's sort of like a gingerbread Robin Hood type of deal. There's a lot of questions about morality though. <laughs> and then I just started to add some detail with white fondant to create some icing. 
Just had it wrapped through all the way around to the scary side of the cake. Now we got two very nice blue buttons. Oh, I like, look how adorable it is. So simple. Then I moved on to his face. Face is very simple to make, look at that. Just a U for his mouth and two black eyes and a curly Q. Now we got some catch lights going on. What color did I make his eyes? I forgot. I made this cake like four weeks ago. <laughs> um, so I'm like looking over the footage like, what's happening next? Green, I made his eyes green. Oh, I like that. I like the hint of pink that I put on the side of his eyes as well. And the second catch light, oh, it just sets it over the top, doesn't it? Look at you, you look so cute. Nobody knows what's on the other side of this cake because of how adorable you look. Now I asked you guys what cookie pies, hold on, I gotta say it again. Cookie pies, favorite cookie was, and Casey Gagnon said gingerbread. He's a cat idea. So this is the story behind that. Cookie pie, um, <laughs> That's such a good name. <laughs> Cookie pie was just a regular gingerbread man that somebody baked and pulled out of the oven. And when he was letting the cookies set on his countertop, Cookie pie rose to life after five minutes of sitting there. So Cookie pie does this all the time. He bakes a whole bunch of gingerbread men and he lets them sit for five minutes. He turns on the timer and after five minutes is done, if none of them come to life magically, then he eats them because he really likes the way they taste. But you see, he gives them a chance to come alive, but only probably like two every couple of years actually do. Now let's move on to the creepy side. So I'm gonna put almost the exact same details, except they're gonna look a little bit more worn, a little bit more disgusting, so that he looks scary. The kawaii side looks brand new. This guy has seen like 25 million years, and that's why he looks this terrible. His bow is like flopping down. What are these? They're, his buttons aren't even round? That's terrible. <laughs> Oh man, somebody needs to take you to Macy's so you can get a new outfit. They got a good sale at Nordstrom's. If you want to go, I'll take you. I really wanted him to look torn, so even the white fondant that represents icing, I made it so that it looks like it's just dripping down. I'm sorry. You look like somebody who's having a bad day. But that's how it's intended to look. Now I'm adding on a little bit of magic sauce to his face and just covering it with a second piece of fondant. Now I'm just going to cut away the excess and blend this. Because I'm adding so much texture, you won't see the seam at all. Blend it, blend it all, blend it all with your fondant tools. So nobody can see and it'll look like one nice piece of fondant. So I'm adding on a piece of black fondant to create his left eye. I'm just adding some eyelids and a lot of wrinkles. This guy is like the gingerbread cookie that you forgot to set the timer for. For me, that's like every gingerbread cookie. <laughs> but for professional bakers who, who just forget to set the timer, this is what happens. Now for his right eye, I made this huge crater because I wanted to fill it with like a huge red piece of fondant. It's supposed to be like a M&M that's cracked. Because whenever you put an M&M in your cookie dough and you bake it, the shell cracks. Happens all the time. After that, I started to add some wrinkles to the bottom of his face and create his mouth. Ooh, so we got some maroon fondant going into his mouth to make it look like it's more deep than it actually is. And I'm, then I'm using the shelf to add some of those teeth. He only has three teeth? Wow. You're living a terrible life. You need to make better decisions when it comes to brushing your teeth, homie. Last but definitely not least, we gave him a curly cue, just like the adorable side. <laughs> oh my. It's, I can't wait to paint this man. I, I just love it. I love all the details I add. I even added the pink on his cheeks that's on the other side. All of the details are the same, but I'm just going to make them look dirtier and more scary. So I'm adding on a little bit of luster dust with some black food coloring and just painting it everywhere so that it falls into all of the wrinkles I created, uh, the outline of the M&M and the, the curlicue. 
I wanted to make sure that I highlighted the M&M &M, and so I'm adding a little bit of white food coloring to create the M. After that, my double-sided gingerbread man was complete. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Oh, that bottom lip. It is so pushed forward and so thick. I love it. This is definitely one of my top five double-sided cakes. The cute side is adorable. You should be in an Oshkosh Bagash commercial. And the terrifying side is hideous. But also, uh, I would put you in that same commercial. <laughs> now, I will be doing a lot of double-sided cakes this year, so let me know in the comments what you think I should make. I've got a ton of ideas. Oh my, what else? Okay, so what if there was like, um, Hold on, I'm getting too excited. I'm getting ahead of myself. I hope you guys are having a happy holiday. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace!